Where's the bear? Whose blonde life is it anyway? In association with Sterling Creations and VIP Tech Productions present Ask Donna. Donna Jodden answers your questions and offers you tips and tricks on being an author, an expert, a sight loss coach, and an advocate. Hey there, it's Donna, Donna Jodhan. Remember me from last year, 2022? Well, Happy New Year, everybody. It's a brand new year, 2023. And I'd like to wish all of our listeners a very, very, very happy 2023. May all of your wishes come true. May you see success in all that you do. And I'd like to thank you again for having tuned in all of last year. And hopefully you will continue to be with me for this year as we start a new year of Ask Donna. I'd also like to thank my very dear friend Victor Julia for giving me this wonderful opportunity to be with you. And you know what? I promised you last year that what I'd be doing for 2023 is to revamp my Ask Donna show. And I'm doing this because of feedback, suggestions, and thoughts that I have received over the holidays from you guys telling me of what you would like me to talk about, what you would like me to share with you. And I'm hoping that your suggestions and feedback will bring even more listeners to our show. Okay? So I've revamped this entire show, Ask Donna, and for the first three weeks of every month, I will be sharing with you lots of practical tips from around the town, from my bulging diary, from everywhere I could think of, I will share tips with you on different things. And for the fourth week, I will have a product review with you that I publish every month in another online newsletter in the United States. I will also have a book review for you and hopefully you will enjoy my show more and it would make more sense to you as we move along. I also want to tell you about my mental stretch and my um, Binto Basket, my virtual Binto Basket, which is at the end of each of my shows. And I hope that you enjoy it as much as I enjoy bringing it to you. Alright? Okay. So, the first topic that I'm going to give you tips from or of is uh, all about the kitchen. Hints and tips for saving time in the kitchen. And it's all about to the rescue when something goes wrong. Okay? Right. If something is too salty, you make a separate batch omitting the salt. So now you have two batches, right? You have one with the salt and one without the salt. You mix, you make one without salt and you make one with salt. Then you combine the two. Then you separate it into two portions. Freezing one and having the other. Alright? So again, what you do is you have two separate batches. One with salt and one without salt. Then you combine the two separate it into two portions and then freeze one of the portions and then use the other portion. Okay? Alright. For 
soup or stew, add cut raw potatoes and this these raw potatoes would absorb the salt or you can add a bit of sugar so either of these other two tips the raw potatoes or adding a bit of sugar would help you to make things less salty okay I like the first suggestion of absorbing, you know, adding the raw potatoes and once they've cooked, you just um, discard the potatoes. That's in soups and stews, okay? Raw potatoes are very good at absorbing salt. Okay? So, the next topic I have for you is what I call Home maker tips from me, Dawn. And here is the first tip from me as a home maker tip. What do you do when you are on antibiotics? Okay. Drink lots of water and fluid so that when you take your antibiotics, it goes out of your system more quickly and do not take any dairy such as milk butter or cheese while on antibiotics no alcohol whatsoever my third topic for this week has to do with practical tips from around the town and i'm going to share with you <clears throat> Some uses for Alka Seltzer. Okay? You can use Alka Seltzer to clean a toilet. Drop in two tablets, wait for 20 minutes, then brush and flush. And presto, you'll see a clean toilet bowl. You can use it to clean China. Use alpha salsa tablets to clean China. You can also use it to clean a vase. So here's what you do when you want to clean the stain from the bottom of the vase, okay? Drop in two tablets. Um, Fill it first you fill it with water and then you drop in two tablets okay you will see how clean it becomes so those are just three uses for alka salsa all right good now if you'd like to get in contact with me about any of this send an email to ask donna on blindlife at gmail.com again ask donna on blindlife at gmail.com now let's move on to the next segment of my show for this week okay we are up to our mental stretch yes indeed welcome to january new year new type of mental stretch and as i've been doing for the past few months we use a different sense every week for our mental stretch and it's all about clearing your minds and your imagination of clutter and cobwebs and learning how to spark and stimulate your creative juices okay it's not that difficult when you think about it and when we use one sense and this week we're use, going to use the sense of hearing and we'll combine it with another sense as well you'll see how this mental stretch can help you to rejuvenate recharge rejig re everything okay so are you ready 
think of these things. First, a sizzling fire. Just allow yourself to sit in your chair and listen to a sizzling fire. Now you may say to me, well, I don't have a sizzling fire. No, you may not. But there are ways to simulate a sizzling fire. Okay? Think of the sizzling fire and think of seeing the sizzling fire, the flames rising gently and smelling the sizzling fire as well. So you can hear, you can see, and you can smell the sizzling fire. Okay? How about some soft music? Listen to the soft music of your choice. It may be classic, it may be easygoing rock, anything like that, okay? And you can conjure up images as you listen to the soft music. How about this? Winds bouncing against the windows of your home. It may sound a bit frightening, but you know what? <coughs> the sound of wind it's amazing. You can, you know, listen to it bouncing. You can also see your windows going up and down as they bounce against your windows. Try these three things. A sizzling fire to start with, or your soft music, or the wind. All right. Again, you can send me an email at askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com. Askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com. All right. My virtual bento basket of the week is a basket for a baby. Here's what I'm going to put into this basket for our little guys and girls, our little baby. We're going to put in some really fragrant smelling baby's bath soap, baby's lotion, so that you can clean baby's arms and legs and keep baby's body nice and moist. Baby shampoo for baby. How about that? Mm -hmm. Baby's hair will smell lovely. Okay, so we got the bath soap, the body, you know, the body lotion for baby, the shampoo for baby. How about that? So we've got three things already. And we're going to put in a nice little pillow for baby. Soft, small, you know, baby can rest their head on this little pillow. Okay. What else do I have for my little baby? A little rattle. Yeah, that would do the trick. Babies love rattles and babies love mobiles hanging over their cribs. Yeah, those two things would also be great for baby. So there you have it, folks. My very first show for June 2023. I want to thank you again for having helped me to revamp my Ask Donna show. And I'm hoping that my tips will help out, will help you, and that you would keep coming back to hear me. Guys, have a great day. Have a great week. Enjoy yourselves. And thank you so much for having tuned in. I'll see you next week, and bye for now. You can listen to Ask Donna every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific, on Whose Blind Life Is It Anyway?